Hey everybody, this is another question I got from a Masterclass Elite member, and it was really a great question. It had to do with when do you write a business plan for your multifamily business? And the, the issue was that he was under the impression that in order to get his multifamily business off the ground, he would have to write a business plan, just like any other type of business. The problem is that that business plan is not necessary to get you started in the multifamily business. All right. See, that business plan is your own personal information. It's all about how you are going to run ABC multifamily investment company. But it has nothing to do with the properties that you are looking to acquire or fund. You see, if an investor comes to you and says, I'd like to see your business plan. Does he really want to see the business plan of your multifamily business? Or does he want to see the business plan of the property that you're looking to get him to invest into? So when you're talking about a business plan in the multifamily side, as far as investors are concerned, what you're really talking about is the property package, all the financial information about the property. That is the business plan. That is what those cash investors are looking to put their money into. They're not looking to put their money into your personal business. They're looking to put their money invested into the property. See, once you start to accumulate properties, those properties are going to be generating income for you. That income is going to be going into your multifamily business. And then that is the business that requires the business plan to go out and get funded by a bank, get a line of credit at a bank. So that is when we talk about business plans, do never, never, never give out information about your own personal business. That's your information. That's your family's information. When an investor wants to know, wants to see the financials or the business plan of the business, what they're referring to and what you only should be giving out is the business plan of the property, otherwise known of as the offering memorandum or the private placement memorandum, depending on how you've drafted it. So that's the only information that you need to have done. So don't hold up the acquisition process because you haven't written a business plan yet for your business. Don't worry about it. Remain focused on finding off-market deals, making offers every single week, getting deals under contract, and then acquiring those properties. And we're taking you through that whole entire process so you know exactly what you need to do. But in the meantime, don't get bogged down, as we say in the business, of the th in the thick of the thin things. And the thin thing in this analysis is a business plan regarding your business. Just don't do it. It's not necessary. Let's move as fast as we can on making offers. That's the key. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, info at multifamilyinvestingacademy.com. We are here to help you every step of the way. For those Masterclass Elite members, on the second private money tutorial, there are three handouts. And those three handouts are essentially already pre-drafted template documents of business plans for properties. That's all you're going to need. So if you're a Masterclass Elite member, go check that out. Download it. Use it to your heart's content. Make it your own. Don't make it mine. Make it your own. And we'll see you next time. Talk to you soon.